I had no intention to go to college. I didn't want to go to college. You couldn't make me go to college. I had no idea, no interest whatsoever. But my mother goes, you need to go to college. You have to. So I go to college and I dropped out. I'm one of those people, if I don't want to do it, you can't make me to do it. So odd jobs here and there, uh, trying to figure out something that I'm good at, lots of failures. But the thing I ended up being good at was truck driving. So I drove truck for around about two years or so. Long enough, I phrased it long enough to know I didn't want to do it anymore. And that was when I decided to go back to school. My first thing I was going to do all those years ago, if I had to go to college, I was going to go for math. So I've always kind of enjoyed math and good at it. Accounting is math oriented, it's logic oriented. And my mother wanted to get a CPA, but she never was able to. So I thought, you know, if I go into accounting, then I have this dragon to slay in the name of family honor and go get that CPA license. It solidified that I was gonna be accounting and my mother was a big influence on that as well. So from West Georgia Technical College, I went to Jacksonville State University and I graduated Jacksonville State in May. So after graduating, I moved here to Greenville um, in May 17th and I started on May 24th. If you had given me the job that I currently have that I'm doing thanks to my bachelor's degree, if you'd offer me that same exact position when I finished at West Georgia Tech, I'd be able to do it. I was as prepared for a career in accounting after West Georgia Tech, at least in my role that I'm in. Um, when I got to Jacksonville State, it was more sort of focusing on the theory rather than the application, which is really what I do now, is the application aspect of it. So it prepared me very well, and the transition was pretty darn smooth. My firm, they gave me the option of either Chattanooga, Greenville, South Carolina, or Charlotte, North Carolina and it narrowed down between Chattanooga or Greenville. Greenville has a hockey team, Chattanooga doesn't. Um, so who am I gonna have season tickets with if I go to Chattanooga? If you were to Google a picture of the waterfall today, you would see a gigantic building with Bank of America on it. It's in that building. And if you see it, you can imagine it's a gorgeous view. It, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful firm, beautiful. And it's a wonderful people. Um, it's a really good fit. I am very, very happy to be here. It's the firm that I wanted to be at out of all of them in the country. It's a wonderful city. It's glowing up and I love it here.